This is my library file for random numbers. And typically when you're doing random numbers, you want to do either floats or integers. And I got an example of both in here. So let's just get started. The first thing we need to do is import the random function library. So we call that. Then we need to do something like get our random float. And that's quite simple. All you do is call random.random .random with no arguments. And then we're going to print this random float from 0.0, .0 to 1.0 because that's what it returns with floats. And the next thing is we're going to print the random float and then a new line feed. For random integers, we're going to need to tell it what the maximum integer is. And in my case, I just chose 256. Uh, we're going to print this little line that says random integer 0 to something. And that something is going to be our uh, random number maximum, which is 256. Then we're going to store in a random integer, we're going to store the result from calling random.randrange 0 and then the maximum and then step, uh, step 1, one step. And then we're going to print it. Uh, I've already run it, but we'll run it again. And as you can see down here, we have random integer, uh, sorry, we have random float of 0.98333 something, and we have a random integer, 0 to 256, and we got 149, and in my prior uh, runs, I got 0.98 as the float, and 186 as the integer, uh, 0.419 for the float, and 175 for the integer. So you can see it produces, uh, and these are actually pseudo-random, if I'm not mistaken, pseudo-random numbers. Uh, but that was pretty much it. Uh, this is my memory jogger for random number generation. Hope you found it useful and interesting in your Raspberry Pi and Python programming.